You know there are several ways to join a video conference through web browsers, mobile apps and desktop clients. But what if I told you there's another powerful approach where a participant can join through a soft phone or maybe a native call UI with no internet access. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. Let's say there is a participant who want to be part of this meeting but doesn't have any internet access. They can simply dial this number after following some simple instruction. There we go. They will be part of an online meeting. Before setting up this project, let's get familiar with inbound and outbound calls. In case of inbound call flow, a user or we can say a customer is going to initiate a call and then that call is routed to VDSDK's SIP address. If I had to put everything in simple word, I can put it like this. Let's say uh, there is an organization and they are making use of some third party like Twilio for their voice or IP services. And let's say they got some uh, customers, right? So their customer having a soft phone or maybe a traditional phone, they're going to initiate a call to Twilio's number. Once that incoming call is received, Twilio immediately inform your server saying, hey, there is this a uh, customer who want to connect to this particular meeting then you, then your server is going to process that request and then server is responsible for sending an invite sip request to uh, video sdk once that request is verified then a connection will be established between this caller and this online meeting this was a simple flow maybe you are not getting few things at the moment everything will get transparent to you as we move through this video next we have outbound calls they are exactly opposite of inbound here uh, some participant or we can say some agent from the meeting is going to call to this customer that agent is first uh, ask server to hey can you call this particular customer then your server is going to request to twilio that can you make a call to this customer once that customer accept this call then starts this similar process first let's start with the project setup to get started with this project very first step is to clone this repository and then we will add some basic configuration to our next.js application to get started with this project simply clone this repository let's navigate to this folder first let's install all the dependencies that are required for this application to work by simply typing npm install now we can open this project inside vs code here if you look at this .env.example this is a template file so let's just copy this code and let's create a new file named .env we need a video sdk's sip username and password and also the authentication token to get those value you can navigate to app.vdsdk.live in api keys you can create a token just simply click on this key icon select an expiry for your token hit this next button now you can copy this token and just add it here and to get access to the username and password you can click on this uh, sip config icon here you will get your username and password so simply copy this value and paste them here next we need twilio's configuration for that you can navigate to console.twilio.com once you create your account you will be having this number automatically generated for you that you can add to uh, this configuration file so simply copy this number and add it here also in account info you will see your account sid and this old token so simply copy this value once that done we can run this application by simply typing npm run dev as you can see our application is running on port 3000 so let's see how it look now let's understand uh, how inbound call work 
in case of inbound call very first step that user is going to uh, take is make a call to that uh, twilio's number there in twilio we can specify our api url so that uh, once that incoming call is received we can uh, access meeting id and we can forward that call to a uh, vdstk's sip address if you look at twilio's dashboard in active numbers you will find this configure tab so invoice configuration there is option to add that server url and the format for that would be something like this app url and then this endpoint which is api webhook inbound and in uh, this url we can also specify our meeting id so this is the format and there is one more thing we can't like add a uh, local host url here we have two options first we can host this application somewhere and then we can specify that domain or we can make use of stunlink link just for testing purpose right you can either make use of ng you can use some uh, other service so here i'm making use of pingy pingy is going to uh you know serve my server application to internet what i need to do here is to select this uh, the kind of application i have and then port number and then i can simply copy this command inside my terminal now let's copy this domain and let's add it in we'll use dashboard and we also need to specify this url inside uh, this .dnv file you can add that value here like in your .dnv file let's save the changes once that done uh, what we can do we can create a meeting so let's do that so we are going to specify that meeting id in this url and let's save the changes once that done i can start this meeting so let me open my live screen my mobile's live screen is visible to you so here i'm going to dial that number and once i make this call to execute this code we have to like uh, type uh, some a random key here as you can see a successful request is made to our url and that sip user is connected to this meeting now let's look at how outbound calls work some agent from the meeting is going to make a call to the customer as you can see i also created this uh, api here we have this client which is instance of twilio so this client is going to make a call to that customer let me show you what i'm talking about let's make a call to this number as you can see an incoming call ui is visible to me i have to first uh, type a random key to execute the code you can also customize this part there we go thanks for watching this video if you face any kind of problem while setting up this project you can always join our discord community there is link in description and make sure to subscribe to this channel